Hey there folks, Andrew here at ChatFuel, and today I have a question for you, and that is, what was the last really funny thing that you saw online, right? Take a second to reflect, take a moment to think about it, no rush, no rush. But seriously, whatever that content was that made you laugh, you probably ended up sharing it with a friend or two. And that's because as humans, we just have this natural desire to share. We wanna get people's reaction, get their feedback. And of course, the same is true when you're building a bot in ChatFuel, especially if you're a marketing agency. You've created this conversation, you've done this work, and you need to share it with your client. But in the past, you might have run into a problem where you say, yes, I want to share my work, but I don't want to give away the keys to the kingdom. I don't want to give them access to the back end. So if you've run into that problem before, we now have a wonderful solution for you. It's very quick and simple, so stick around for that. The two features that we're going to be talking about today are the export to PNG and the share link features. All right, so the first way to share a flow with your client is using the export to PNG feature, and you can access that, of course, in Flow Builder. So to do that, I'm going to find my flow here that I'd like to export the image of, in this case, fruit discount, select it, and then choose this button with the three vertical dots, and then export to PNG, right? So this will export a full resolution, high quality image of the flow that I've selected, and the preview of it is over here on the right-hand side in the canvas. So it'll download that image, and then of course I can email that, send that via text, however I wanna communicate that image to the client, and it's great because again, it's high resolution, they can fully zoom in, zoom out, without losing any of that quality. So it's basically the same experience they would get in Flow Builder here if they were to interact with it. But of course, again, we don't need to give them that access in chat fuel. So two other quick notes here with the export to PNG feature. This first one isn't related to the feature itself, but it is very important. So if I zoom in here on the flow that I've exported the image of, you can see that I've added this yellow note here, this comment. So this is really important. The whole goal of sharing your flow, of course, that image of it is to show the client what you've done and provide all that context, right? You want this image to be self-explanatory by itself. So notes are a very key component of that. With notes, with comments here, you can obviously provide additional context and information explaining how all the pieces fit together here or something that might not be obvious so that again, in that single image, it is self-explanatory and self-contained. So Again, as a side note here, if you'd like to add this comment, this note feature, you simply hover over any block and then click on this note button right there and you're good to go. So that being said, one other final tip here is that when you export an image as a PNG of your flow, you will see in the top right corner the name of the flow on that image. And in some cases, you might have just left it the default, like untitled flow or default flow. And that might not look super professional or appealing to the client. So if you'd like to change that, all you need to do is double click on the name of the flow over here. You can modify it and then export another PNG of that flow and that will be solved. Okay, so the second way to share a flow with your client is using the share link feature. And yes, as you might've imagined, this also lives in Flow Builder. So here we are in Flow Builder. I've selected my flow just like before. I'll click this button with the three vertical dots and then choose share link. Now, once I do this, I have a number of options here, but basically what this feature is all about is it will generate for you a publicly accessible web page, a landing page where users can see the bot flow. So your clients can see that, but in addition to the export to PNG feature where they can just see that flow, the difference here is that your visitors can actually interact with the bot on Messenger courtesy of the customer chat plugin. So that's the one difference. This option, the share link is much more interactive, but the other huge difference that is very, very important to note here is that again, this is a publicly accessible web page. So if you're working on any sort of project that is top secret, you're under a non-disclosure agreement, do not use this feature. Instead, use the export to PNG because that's private. It does not live on the web. With the share link here, it does. So be very cautious on that front if you're afraid of you know, leaking any sort of information. So that being said, now let's actually preview what this looks like. So we'll toggle the switch here to generate and set live that landing page. 
and I've already opened it here in a different tab so you'll see what it looks like. Again, basically the same thing that you're getting with the export to PNG feature, but the difference here is that it's also interactive. So down here you see this test this flow button. If I click on that, it'll open up the customer chat plugin and now my clients can interact with the bot to see everything from the user perspective as well, which is really, really neat. And especially now that there's guest mode and users don't need to be logged in, this is just magnificent. Now, a couple other notes here with the share link feature. The first is that you'll see down here, there's an embed code. So this is HTML code. You can actually embed this on your website as well. So I think a great use case here is that if you're an agency, you're working with potentially high ticket clients, you really wanna wow them with the experience, you can create a branded page for that client, a branded portal, if you will, and then you can embed this flow, this HTML code on that web page within your agency, right? So you're not sending them to a chat fuel property, it's within your own agency instead. So to do that, you simply copy this code, which I've already done, and I just have a basic HTML editor over here. I've pasted that code between the body tags of the website, and now you can see a preview of what this looks like, right? So very kind of raw code here. It doesn't look super visually appealing because we don't have all the other visual and aesthetic elements here, but nonetheless, users can see the flow and still engage with it via Messenger. Now, one last note here with the share link feature is that if you want, you can toggle this checkbox here to allow users to duplicate your flow. So if I do that and then run this code again, you'll see the difference. So at the bottom here, now you see this option save to chat fuel. So if you are a marketing agency and you're sharing your work with clients, I would definitely advise you not to do this. So let's go back into chat fuel here and uncheck that box because if you give users the option to save and duplicate this flow, then theoretically they could just take your bot and run without paying you. So the better use case here, if you wanna use this feature, specifically the flow duplication, it's really best if you're selling templates and that's what your agency does. But again, if you're doing client specific work, you're doing a custom built bot, I would definitely uncheck this option as it is right here. So that's everything you need to know about sharing flows in ChatFuel. And be sure to let us know down below in the comments, what is your preferred way to share flows? Is it the export to PNG or the share link. For me personally, definitely the share link, but whatever camp you fall into, one thing is for sure, and that is that both of these features are gonna help agencies better explain the messenger experience to their clients and also simplify the whole collaboration process. So be sure to start sharing flows in chat fuel today and happy botting.